guy, Liang Wenbo. A brace of 95 breaks. He's yet to miss a meaningful ball. And Judd Trump has made one mistake. Mr. Black off its spot. And already, after less than half an hour, he's 2 0 adrift. Well, if Judd can get himself into the first interval at 2 all, he'll be delighted with that. Well, he's having another look at this red on the right-hand side. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he has a go at this because he can't get on the black. And the way he's uh, queuing, you could probably knock this in as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Well, gasps from the crowd in awe at the quality of Liang Wenbo's snooker right now. He's walking on water out there and Judd Trump must be more than a little concerned. He's powerless to do anything. He's just got to hope that Liang can't sustain this level of brilliance. I always miss that one, though. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, well, After such a great red once again. And relief for Trump. What can he do with this opportunity? Right, well, we'll play the, the black here and go into the pack. Well, normally he does, unless he controls the white to try and get on the red, but normally Judd wants them open and he wants them open early. So he might try to scatter these. There you go, but the white's gone away from them. Hang on. Hoping that it would stay at this end. Well, that's uh, that hasn't finished very good for him. Trump, eight. Well, if it had stayed at this end with the cue ball, he, he might have been able to make inroads into this two-frame de deficit at the moment, but uh, Liang's playing some stuff. And he's having another look at a red to this right corner. Just slide off the others for the black. I think he's in that sort of mood uh, Phil if there's anything there to have a go at he's gonna have a go at it it's as simple as that his long potting both in the semi-final against Bingham and so far today has been quite outstanding he's just missed the one meaningful ball and of course that was just now the black which was a surprise But he's at it again. My goodness me. Well, another great pop. Does he mind that one up to come off the, uh, off the reds? But now, does the yellow go? He's got the blue down the cushion, but he's just had a quick look at the yellow past the brown. I think it might. Well, 
One good pot here. And Leanne could be in serious business yeah, again. It does go. There's room there. Oh! Well, it wasn't easy, was it? And there was yeah, pressure one, on it because one. he knew he was leaving Trump in for plenty if he did miss. Yes, now, here's a chance here for Judd to counter and get his first frame on the board. One. And those are the margins. If that yellow falls, Liang becomes the favourite for 3-0 and Trump is becoming concerned. As it is, Trump now has the chance to halve the deficit, settle his final nerves. And it's very much game Eight. on. Well, I'll go back to what I've just said. If he can get him anyway and get himself out of this to 2-2 two -two at the interval, he'll be delighted. He'll feel like he's won the first session 3-1, but he's got to get this one on the board first and not worry about the other one. Well, I think that was a springy bounce. It, it flew off the, side, uh, off the side cushion. And a slightly frustrated air to that 16. shot from Trump. Let's have a look at this. There, and then, off the side cushion, bang. And you finish near the pink. The table was playing outstandingly well last night in the second semi-final between Liang and Stuart Bingham. Yeah, I think the conditions overall during the week have been uh, very, very good. John Higgins came into the uh, press room at one stage, thought that table two was playing slightly better than table one, i.e. the cushions, but there was a refit on Friday evening for this one, for the two semis in the final. Event City in all its glory. That's not gone to plan for Trump. Well, Judd won't be enjoying this at the moment, that is for sure. And if you can pop this red in for the pink, Liang will be back in again in amongst them. Oh, his head was up there very quick. Did you see that, Phil? Didn't he, he sort of threw himself at it. Yeah, it was an edgy shot and Liang showing his frustration. He knows what a great opportunity that was. He's made a fabulous start, but he's got to keep it going. Well, his technique let him down there. And that kind of miss will inspire Judd yes. Trump. In the light, yeah. Nothing like your opponent missing one. He should have got to make you feel better about your own game. Six. 
Sam. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Lead goes to 43, 67 still left. But Trump looking good for his first frame. And Judd also has the experience, fellas, we know that he knew that the end can't keep knocking him in like he was. There's going to get a time he's going to start missing one or two, and that is the, the time for him to pounce. So one more red, and Liang Wenbo will need snookers. There's Judd's girlfriend who's been watching him throughout the week. Thirty-two. Well, I'm sure she's a little bit happier now, considering the start that Liang had had. And all of these points, of course, the result of the mid-range red that Liang missed. Had he potted it, this break 15. could have been his. And he might have been looking at a commanding 3-0 early lead. Trump has done what he had to do, punish that mistake. Trump, 39, and the friend. And Liang remains in his chair. So, battle well and truly joined now, with Judd Trump managing to win the third frame after the error from Liang on the red. Liang